Good morning. I'm Susan Meredith. This is the morning edition. And if you've been watching the ads on uh, late television last night, you know that I have a very special guest and a special two-hour show today. Ron Wyatt is a man who believes he has discovered the ark and various other uh, scriptural artifacts and uh, some of the major things in the Bible, the major events. Um, he believes that he is the one person who was designated to discover these things. And uh, are you skeptical? Do you believe? Do you know Jesus? Do you know the Bible? Do you know the stories? Well, he's going to tell us something about those things here today. My guest for this special two-hour morning edition is Ron Wyatt. And uh, Ron is the man that uh, believes that he has discovered Noah's Ark, uh, the bones of the giants that we're going to talk about later, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, the pyramid building machine, the Red Sea crossing site, uh, the real Mount Sinai, the crucifixion site, and the Ark of the Covenant itself. Uh, the Ark, of course, being different than Noah's Ark, which is uh, what most people think of you as having discovered. And as a matter of fact, a lot of people believe that, including Turkey. Is that right? That's uh, correct. The Turkish government? Yes. I uh, appreciate your invitation to come spend some time with you, Susan. Oh, that was exciting for me. I met you a long time ago, eight years ago. Yes. And... Um, I had the most fascinating time just sitting and listening and, and looking at your films. How did this all begin? I guess uh, probably when I was about 15, somebody gave me a book. Uh, it was called God's Graves and Scholars, written by Saram. And it had to do with the excavation of Ur of the Chaldees, which, of course, is the city that Abraham migrated from when he went into Canaan. And I just became fascinated with archaeology and ancient history. And so I've been reading everything I could get my hands on uh, ever since that had to do with archaeology and ancient history. And then in 1977, I started making field trips to try to locate some of these things and document them. Okay. We're going to uh, get into the art just a little bit right now because I want to get into some of these other things first. Okay. And we'll, we'll kind of uh, get to Noah's Ark later. I, I want to show you first. Uh, Ron has been on many television shows. He has uh, written a book called Discovered, Noah's Ark. And um, uh, when did you actually see it the first time? Uh Let's see, it was August 26, 1977. 1977. Yes. Did it look like an ark to you then? Well, it looked like a boat. Uh, a lot of people nowadays, due to our changing lifestyle, haven't seen a boat. Uh, but when I was a kid, they were fairly common. Mm -hmm. uh, people did a lot of fishing. And uh, so anyway, a lot of times after a storm, uh, when the river would come up and all these boats were tied off to trees and whatnot so they wouldn't get swept down the river in the flood, uh, the little local flood, mm -hmm. and but they would fill with water. And so when you saw these boats, they would just be the upper edge of the gun walls or the mm -hmm. hull uh, protruding above the water. And so out in eastern Turkey at 6,300 feet up on this mountain, uh, set this uh, boat that just the upper edge of the hull was sticking above the dirt okay. and of course a big bulge in the middle that showed there's a little more to it than there would be to a simple rowboat. Okay, you had a lot of people refute that uh, that idea of yours that that was a boat up there on the mountain for a while. And well, uh, Susan, there was a, a very talented artist uh, that painted a barge-shaped uh, structure into a photograph of Mount Ararat. And uh, the whole idea of a barge shape uh, got a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. There was a movie in search of Noah's Ark, and in there they had a model, and they built a, a barge-shaped object, and then they put a little barge-shaped uh, stick in a wave tank to show the stability. Now, I'm uh, a critical individual, skeptical, 
and I hope your audience is. I'm sure many of them are. And I'll say right up front, if somebody told me they had found all this stuff, I wouldn't believe it for a second. And so uh, what we have done is documented all of it very carefully uh, so that people can see it for themselves. And anyway, in this uh, movie, they supposedly demonstrated the stability of a barge shape in a rough sea. Uh, the, they edited this thing, and you could tell within seconds it had turned over and gotten entirely wet. And so they showed two uh, segments, fractions of seconds, and in the second one it was wet. It had not uh, been as stable as they would like us okay. to believe. So anyway, a barge shape in a rough sea where there's torque, uh, it will not survive. The oil companies attempted to use barges to transfer oil from one place to the other, and it just did not work. Okay. So they are not as stable as the story uh, implied back in those days. Now we're going to show a clip here in a minute, and uh, right now this I know this comes in three sections. Can you get a picture of the uh, the model that's in front of us? This is actually two scale. It isn't that's a right. scale model, but it is two scale. And uh, this is what, by all accounts, uh, evidently everybody who knows anything about the ark believes it looks looked like this. That's right. Those that are familiar with our research. See, uh, in archaeological investigation, for example, we can measure the depth of what's left out there from end to end, and you can tell where the upper decks began and ended. Mm -hmm. Now, due to erosion over the 4,700 years since it came to ground up there, uh, we're, you can't be precise, but you can be very close. Okay. And so this gives us the fact that it had three decks or three uh, uh, t floors, and uh, then from side to side uh, you get the same picture. Okay. And so we know that this is the shape and the inside, which we'll show, I guess, a little later, uh, is based on subsurface radar scan, mm -hmm. which gives you the ability to look through the earth just like a doctor does through a fluoroscope mm -hmm. to see our broken bones if we should need his assistance in that mm -hmm. area. So it's reconstructed from what the uh, data shows the boat to have looked like. Okay, now this is not the way you saw it, though, and we want to show you the way he did see it. Uh, here is a video clip right now, and we'll show you what Ron saw on the mountain. On June 20th, 1987, after 10 years of intense research, the Turkish government announced to the world the discovery of Noah's Ark and the dedication of it and the surrounding area as a national park. In 1977, Ron Wyatt made his first trip to this area after seeing this satellite photo in Life magazine. It was during this first trip that Ron found numerous huge drogue-style anchor stones, all the same approximate size as the one here. These were all in a direct alignment with the boat-shaped object, evidencing their being cut loose or dropped as the ark entered the area of its final rest. These all bear ancient iconographic inscriptions of the eight survivors of the flood. In December of 1978, an earthquake in this highly remote area dropped the soil from around the formation allowing Ron to see for the first time the rib timbers and deck support timbers visibly exposed on the sides. A large crack was also formed along the entire length of the object and he was able to measure the depth and take samples for analysis. The analyses showed a very high organic carbon content consistent with ancient wood. Later metal detection surveys and subsurface interface radar showed an incredible man-made structure encapsulated within the formation. Keels and keelsons, bulkheads, decks, and even partitions between the cages became visible through these scientific devices. 
Turkish government has completed a beautiful visitor center just above the ark so that visitors of every faith from all nations can visit and see the ark for themselves.